What's up, tribe? How you guys doing today? Uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and I hope you like this video. This is going to be a power review, season 5, episode 9. I'm going to call this episode, Everybody Snitching. Everybody snitching. It's no, it's so many snitches. I can't know which. You look left, there's a snitch. You look right, there's a snitch. And one thing people talk about, I always tell people, when they start talking about some snitches get stitches, and I ain't no snitch, and I ain't no this, and I'm like, you, you're a snitch until they got the right. You're not a snitch until they got the right ammunition against you, or for you. Cause hunty, everybody talking in this episode. So let's get started. So we start the episode off with the aftermath of the Keenan. Um, murder. We have Tasha, Tommy, Ghost arguing at the apartment. Basically, Ghost is coming at Tasha like, why didn't you tell me what the plan was? You know, why did you go after Keenan? You got Tommy. Remember, Tommy didn't believe Ghost that he didn't know anything about it. So Tommy is like, Tasha, why wouldn't you tell me? Tasha was like, I couldn't trust you. He was like, you couldn't trust me? You know, Tommy was indignant. Like, what the fuck you mean you couldn't trust me? Um, and of course, Ghost hitting him with the you just can't keep secrets. Tom was like, you, you lying. You not. You don't really mean that, right? Like you, are you listening to yourself? Cause ghosts keep more secrets than all of them. So while this is going on, Tariq is listening to them, right? He's hearing this. He gonna come out there talking about, shit. Cause then Ghost made a comment talking about some. You gonna put our son's life in danger? One dead kid isn't enough. So you know, Tasha slapped the shit out of him. Talking about some, fuck you, Ghost. He go, Tommy. You deserve that. You, you deserve that one. So. Tariq gonna come out there talking about some. It was my idea. I did it. And I knew that Keenan wasn't going down without a fight. I knew that it was going to end up like that. Mommy didn't know. I didn't tell her. First of all, your bitch ass was in the back of that police car scared as hell. So don't act like you's all Billy Badass now. Because you ain't know. Because Keenan could have very easily got your ass up out that police, the back of that police car. Because he could have got the keys from one of them dead officers and he shot. And pulled your ass up out that car. So don't act like you knew how it was going to go down because you didn't. Then, he talking about some, I'm the only one that gave a damn about Keenan. I took a loss so y'all could get a win. They were like, what? What? <laughs> it was like, um, he said, yeah, now what y'all needed from me? Tommy was like, no, you fucked up. Like, that's no. And, you know, Tasha was like, like no, like there are four dead cops. That wasn't the plan. The plan was for Keenan to go to jail and this will always just be done. So, of course, he coming at Ghost. Ghost is like, look, just go get your shit. We're taking you back to school. Ghost don't know what to do with his ass. He really don't. I say just put his ass out on the street. He think he's so grown and Billy Badass and he got he know how the streets work and he got the streets locked. Let his ass go figure that shit out. And then when he figure it out and he figure out he really ain't who he thought he was... Then come home and let's have a conversation. See, he got a couple of lessons from Keenan, and he think that he ready to be Scarface. You got one lesson, maybe two. Keenan had the whole the whole book in his back pocket. He gave you chapters one and two, dumbass. Anyway, we gonna he gonna figure it out. It'll probably be next season because we only got one more episode and they focused on other stuff. But he gonna figure that shit out. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish Tariq asses up. Tariq's ass up. So, Ghost goes to take Tariq to the train station, and he's telling Tariq, look, this is why we have you in the private school. This is why we've been doing the things we've been doing to keep you out of this shit. And you just keep wanting to be a gangster. You just keep wanting to go and gravitate towards it. He was like, what is it that you want from me? This way, I probably would have went to jail, because I would have smacked the shit out of him in public, and somebody would have probably called the police on me. But, Tariq said, I want you to teach me the game. No, I want you to teach me the motherfucking game, ghost. <sighs> he probably would have got the G and the H out before I would have knocked the shit out of him. But anyway, so <laughs> Ghost was just like, get your ass on that train. <laughs> like, take your ass back to school. So Ghost walks off. You know, Tariq does the old revolving door shit. He goes out. He comes He comes back out. Now, he's got Keenan's weight on him. Because remember, he took the weight out the truck. Out the, the trunk of the car. So he could plant the gun. But he still got them drugs. He goes to the Italians. He goes to Vincent. He going there speaking Italian and shit. Vincent's like, yeah, I heard about what happened to your man. You know, tough luck. And, you know, um... Tariq was like, yeah, fucked up. But look, I need you to help me move this weight. 
He was like, I can handle this shit at my school, but this is way too much weight for me to try to handle. I need you to help me out. What's up? And Vincent is like, first of all, I don't know you. I don't know nothing about you. Why in the hell would I be tr- would I trust you to do some business with you? He was like, look, if I had anywhere else to go, you think I would come to you? Like, don't act like, dude, you're not, you're not the most ideal um, option for me either. So he was like, how old are you? He said, old enough. So he said, look, we can do this as a one-time deal, and then we'll figure out if we want to keep this moving or make this a, a regular thing. So then Tariq says, I, I need one more thing from you. He was like, can you give me a fake ID? So we see Tariq later on in the episode getting a fake ID from, I mean, he's using his fake ID to get um, Kenan's ashes. And the, he tells the, tells him that he's Kenan's son. So the guy's like, um, you know, here are the ashes, here's your father's ashes, you know, sorry for your loss. So that's what we see of King, of um, of Tariq this episode. So that's why I said we, he's going, he's, his, his storyline is probably going to pick up next week, I mean next season, because I don't know how much they're going to do with him next week, but we see which role he's going down. We see where he's going with all of this. So then we have, um, next we have, oh, we're back to the FBI. So the FBI they sitting there, they in their feelings, because they like, look, this shit is tied up like a nice little bow with Keenan being being dead. He's connected to the murder of the cop. He's connected to the murder of his son. You know, we don't have nothing on Angela. We don't have nothing on, um, on um, Ghost, you know, St. Patrick. So we just need to pack this shit up, take an L, and keep it moving. The boss is like, we're done. Like, I'm done with this. We got other things to do. What's up? Of course, y'all know. Um, uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, they still got a hard on for Angela. So they're like, well, if we can get some, um, some, some proof, you know, we did it. They were, she was like, look, she told, cause it, cause she was like, I noticed this. She was, the, the boss knows that the shit ties up too neatly. But her thing is, either Angela is too smart for us to catch her, or she's innocent and we about to make fools of ourselves trying to prove that she's not. They tell they uh, she tells them let this shit go. We got other stuff to do, but y'all know they not gonna do that. Y'all know they not gonna let the shit go. Um. Then we see Ghost goes to Angela. Of course, he's all mad, talking about how could you do this to me? You know, I thought I trusted you. He was like, you put our son in danger. You know, or well, my son in danger. And he was like, you know, how could I ever trust you now? Angela was like, look. I tried to tell you that the move, that Dre was not the move. You had your own agenda. Tasha came at me with a better idea. Keenan was the better out, you know, was the better option. My bad. You know, like, I'm sorry, but this is how I went down. And Ghost was like, what are you talking about? Tasha had an agenda too. Like, Keenan was, was her enemy. Like, she had an a, a, a agenda in this whole situation too. Angela was like, yeah, but Dre was just not the move. Now, I'm not 100% sure why Dre wasn't the move, but Dre wasn't the move. I don't know. But either way, Angela ain't back down. She ain't apologized. She was like, look, this is how I had to go down. Sorry that you mad. Like, she was like, maybe this can be just a new beginning for us. Now that we got... She was like, we're clear. We're in the clear now. Which, you would have been in the clear had it not been for some other bullshit. But we're going to get there. So then we see Tommy and Keisha's ass. Let me tell y'all something about Tommy and Keisha. Keisha's so damn dumb. So anyway, her and Tommy are talking, and she's basically, um, she's like, so where were you this morning? And he was like, oh, I was with Tasha and goes, she was like, I thought we were done with them. Because remember, he told her last week, I need you to just tell this lie, and we done with them. We can, we can move on. He was like, look, I had to tie some loose ends. This, this, this whole bullshit is crazy. Like, I just had to tie some shit up. So, of course, you know, she starts talking about how she didn't like lying to the cops and she don't know if she can do it again. <laughs> Tommy was like, well, let me be honest with you. If you stay with me, you're going to probably have to lie to the cops again. <laughs> so, of course, Keisha was like, well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to lie to the cops. And Tommy was like, but you're going to have to do it. It happened. It's over. Like, we're good. So, she said, well, you know, Tommy... I mean, if you asked me to do it, you would be telling, and you're honest with me, you would be giving me an option. But she didn't, but Keisha, I mean, Tasha didn't do that. Tasha didn't give me a choice. She just made me do it. And that's the part I don't like. Bitch, are you crazy? 
A lie is a lie is a lie. As Rock says, a lie don't care who tell it. So why does it matter if somebody is honest with you or not? If the end result is they want you to lie to the police. Like, the end result is the end result. So anyway, so then we see... She going to say to him, but Tommy, I mean, I know that you move weight and everything, but you haven't killed anybody, have you? Tommy was like, so, you know, how was breakfast? Like, he was like, you mean, haven't I killed anybody today? Have I killed anybody this week? So, then we see the FBI, y'all know they're desperate now. Tweedledee and Tweedledum, they are desperate. So they go to Teresi, show up at his front door again after he done told them, don't come through my neighborhood because you're going to get us all fucked up. They were like, yeah, we don't really take orders well. We really don't care about which, what's comfortable for you. We need some information and we need it like yesterday. Like everything you've been giving us up to now has been some bullshit. We need some real information. Or we about to let everybody know you a snitch. And they got pictures, right? Snitch number one. So they show up to Teresi these pictures of him meeting with them and they're like so if you don't get us some information in the next 24 hours we about to show everybody starting with vincent that you a rat so of course teresi is like fuck you know like now i really got to get him something real so um he knows he got he only has a few more minutes to get it out there so then we see Alicia and, um, isn't that her name, Alicia, Alicia, uh, Sandoval, no, Jimenez, I got that, I don't know where Sandoval came from, well, I know where it came from, anyway, that's later on in the episode, but Jimenez, she's with Dre, pissed, she's like, what the fuck, she was like, this was supposed to be clean, now they got the head of my, of my, I forgot to say that in my review last week, that the head of her brother was at the hotel with Dre and, um, old girl, and when, um, so he was like, well, look, you know, this could work to our favor. We could spin it, you know. It'll look like his enemies, you know, was coming after him. Like, we can work this to our advantage. She was like, yeah, but what's up with the clubs? She was like, are you still about to be on a plane going to France? Because that's the only reason why me and you were in business. It's so that you can move my drugs in and out of um, internationally. And he was like, well, you know, that's been put on hold right now until we can, you know, till the, to, till the dust settles. He was like, but we're still good. She said, oh, no, we ain't still good. She, he was like, well, I can still run New York. She said, I can get anybody to run New York for me. That's not what I need from you. That you that is not why we're in business. She said, I'll tell you what. Until you can get your international link back up, Christopher is in charge. You answer to him now. Ooh, what she say that for? What she say that for? So y'all already know. Dre pissed. He's like, what? Christopher? She said, yeah, I didn't stutter. Christopher is in charge now. So y'all know that's y'all already know that's about to go left. That's about to go left. So we see Tommy and Teresi at his warehouse showing him. Here you go, Tommy again, telling all his business, sharing all his information. He's telling, um, he's telling, um, Teresi about how he got these drugs from the, um, from the, not the Russians, but yeah, this, y'all know who I'm talking about, not the Russians, because Teresi was like, You got these from the Mexicans? He was like, Hell no, nah. I got these from, you know, the dude, the crazy dude. He said, and I mean, but he's worth it, you know, like he crazy as hell, but it's worth the connect. Like, you know, we do good business. He's telling him all the business. He's telling them where they're getting it from, how they're running it, and, you know, talking about he got Xanax and just everything. So Ghost comes through, and Ghost is like, and of course, he just got finished saying he was done dealing with Ghost, and here come Ghost walking through the door. So, because mind, mind you, Teresi's trying to get some more information, so he's asking him questions and stuff. Because Teresi still has his ace in the hole is that they asked him to kill, was it Salvador Sandoval in jail? That's like his little ace in the hole. But we're going, we'll talk about that in a minute. But he's starting to have some, some conflicts of conscience about involving Tommy. So we'll get to that. So he's telling, um, Ghost is telling him, look, you need to be careful about talking to because first he was like are we good like do you believe me now and tommy told my son well i get you know tasha and Tariq both said you ain't know nothing about it i guess i gotta believe you he was like what you mean you gotta believe me like what more information what more proof do you need that i didn't have nothing to do with this so 
they start talking. He's like, look, why is Teresi here? Why do you have him in your warehouse? You are giving him way too much information. You can't trust him. Why are you trying to trust him? You cannot trust him. So, um... Of course, Tommy cusses, goes out, tell him, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't talk about my dad, blah, blah, blah. Me and you were done. We don't have no more business with each other. Why the fuck you talking to me? You know that whole, you know that whole thing with Tommy. And Ghost was like, look, all right, don't say I didn't warn you. When shit go left, don't come to me asking me, you know, for help, basically. So Angela goes to drink. She said, look, I know you in trouble. Help me get um, Alicia. Help me set her up. Give me enough information that I can arrest her. I'll give you some witness protection. I'll take care of you. Um, and, of course, at first, Dre was like, why the fuck? Why would I do that? She was like, because. It, it, if not, I'm going to arrest you, and your ass is going to go to jail for the rest of your life. So, of course, Dre tries to throw it back at her, talking about, um, but you know, I know all about you. You know, I used to be Ghost's driver. I got a lot of information. She was like, everybody already know all of that. You don't have nothing on me that they don't already know. She was like, the worst that can happen to me is that I get fired. But your ass could get the needle for what I know about you. So, you know, they tried to play that little tug of war game for a minute. So she was like, look, think about it. Get back to me. But I need some real information on, um... Alicia, so I can arrest her. Like her, her brother's gone now, but I know she's still in the game. So that's rat number two. All right, I'm trying to make y'all's alive. So I want to make sure I'm getting it all in. Then the FBI goes to Proctor because again they are desperate. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. They're like, look, we need you to wear a wire. We need you to talk to ghosts. So, first of all, Proctor was like, first of all, that goes against every ethic as a, as a lawyer. You could get disbarred for asking me to do it, and I could disbar for, get disbarred for doing it. That's my client. I can't be taping my client, even though we see Donald Trump's attorneys tape him all the time. But that's a whole other conversation for a whole other day. But, so the, um, the FBI was like, yeah, but if you ever want, um, if you ever want to get, um, custody of your daughter again, you'll cooperate or... The crackhead is going to be raising your child. So, of course, Proctor was like, you know, I told y'all at the beginning of this video, snitches are only as loyal until you got the right ammunition for them. So, he was like, all right, but I need a proffer clearing me from everything. Like, basically, I need a piece of paper that says that y'all put me up to this and I didn't do this of my own free will. Because if not, now I'm looking at being disbarred again. They were like, fine, you got it, you got it. He was like, all right, snitch number three. We got a problem with the with the trucks. All of a sudden, the trucks going in and out of the jail, all of a sudden, the last truck got searched. They were able to get the contraband through. However, now, Sammy and Sammy's man are now looking at Tommy because they were like, look, <coughs> excuse me. They said, look, we've been running these drugs in and out of the prison for years. Ain't never had a problem. Ain't never been stopped. And we know it was it was targeted because our truck was the only truck stopped. The only new information going on in here is you, Tommy. What's up? So Tommy was like, you know, Tommy, what the fuck you trying to say? You trying, you accusing me of something? So the dude was like, all I'm saying is we never had no problems with, contra with getting our stuff through. We never been searched. We never been targeted before until you came around. So what's up with that? So... Sammy tells Teresi, look, I don't trust Tommy. Like, I really think that Tommy is the snitch. I think that Tommy is the one letting everybody know what's going on. I think he the reason why our contraband is getting um, hijacked. So what you going to do about it? So Teresi tells Sammy, don't worry about it. I got it all figured out. And he tells them, he said, look, because Sammy know. remember, Sammy knows that Teresi is the snitch. So he was like, look, you need to go ahead and drop that information and get Tommy out the picture. You need to get the feds what you got. Stop playing around so we can go ahead and get Tommy taken care of. So daddy says, don't worry about it. I got it. He was like, you know, at the end of the day, my ace in the hole is the fact that <coughs> they asked me to do the hit on Sandoval when I was in jail. So, that'll get Ghost and Tommy all wrapped up into one, since Ghost was the one that asked me to do it 
through Tommy or Tom, no Tommy was the one that asked me to do it through Ghost. So he was like that. He was like so when I drop that dime, both of them will be gone. So Sammy was like cool. All right, good to know. He was like I just thought you might have been getting a little soft on us. Trust he was like no. He was like I just been waiting for the right time. I've just been fattening up the turkey. Don't worry about it. We still got it. Meantime and in between time. <laughs> Told y'all there's a lot going on. Meantime and in between time, Dre meeting with Christopher. He playing all, you know, you know, because Christopher was like, you know, I know I, I hope you, I hope it ain't no bad feelings between us. I didn't ask for this promotion. It was given to me. You know, it ain't like I can say no. I hope me and you still good. Dre was like, we good. We good. Don't worry about it. I understand. He was like, you sure they... Dre pouring him a drink. He like, yes, we are good here. A drink for you and a drink for me. Yes, yes. He said, um, so what's going on? You know, he said, it's only temporary. It's only until I can get the international piece set up. I'm not worried about it. So they get to talking. And you, Dre got that old Chester cheetah smile and shit, you know. And um, he says, so what's going on? You know, with, with uh, um, um, Angelica, Angel, y'all know who I'm talking about, Alicia. I said Angelica. I made up a whole name. So Sandoval tells her. I mean, tells him. I mean, Christopher tells him. Well, you know, I'm meeting up with her tonight over at the hotel. You know, he was like, "Oh, for real, y'all, y'all, y'all doing some business?" He was like, "No, not really. We, um, I think she's trying to, you know, give me, give me a little some, something, something." And um. He was like, oh, for real? He about to, she going to give you some? She going, oh, okay, cool. So they talk a little bit. So when he leaves out, who goes running back to Angela to let Angela know, look, Christopher and um, Alicia are going to be at the hotel tonight. You can get them both at one time. That's her connect. And she was like, since when is that her connect? We thought you were the connect. And he was like, yeah, nah, you know, you want the information or that? <laughs> So she gets the information. Next thing you know, you see uh, Christopher and Alicia at the hotel about to get it in. Alicia, Angelica, and Ange y'all know who I'm talking about. Jimenez, the Jimenez chick. They about to get it in. She gets a call on her phone. All of a sudden, all she hears is a click. She knows she's been set up. Here come the feds. They swooping in from the ceiling. They coming from the left. They coming from the right. Swoops them all up. You know, Angela is there to take her victory lap. Tell my son, you going down this time, bitch. Ain't nobody here to save you. Cause I done already got it signed off by your little friend down downtown that you thought you was that you thought you had on lock. So of course, you know, Jimenez is like this bitch. She's like, fuck you, go to hell, you know. Angela gets the victory lap at the job. Everybody's clapping, cheering Angela on. She's the shit. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And while she's getting her accolades, she sees Tweedledee and Tweedledum come about the office looking all pissed off. But here's the thing. I knew, I knew it was some shaky shit going on because they made it really obvious that they were not at her celebration. They made it really obvious to come up out of that office. They made it real obvious. So I was like, okay, something, this, this, they setting her up. Like, I knew that something wasn't right. She slides herself up in the office, starts going through the files, because she feels like something's up too. She starts going through the files. She finds the pictures of um, Teresi talking to the feds. She finds the pictures that they're getting right, that they're trying to blackmail him with. So, of course, she takes pictures of it. And she confronts um, Monk about it. Mock, mock, mock. She confronts Mock about it, talking about some look. I'm your goddamn boss. Who the fuck is your informant? And he tells her who it was. But he was he said that she gave that information over way too easy. So she was like, now, was that so hard? Yup, because they, they setting your ass up. I knew they were setting her ass up. So, now we see it's a little nothing scene between Ghost and Tate. Well, basically, Ghost is like, yeah, so I heard that we got all the money we need. We need to break ground on my project. So, Tate was like, look. I was going to tell you we had the money. He was like, yeah, sure you were. Um, you know, even with you, he was like, even with you still in the skimming off the top, we still met our goal. So it's time to break ground. I want it done as soon as possible. So Tate was like, look, we're going to do it at the right time. He was like, I'm, we're going to do it at the same time that I'm announced that I'm running for governor. It'll have more impact that way. So, of course, Ghost was like, yeah, all right. 
Make sure you handle it. Make sure you take care of your business. Next thing you know, we see Teresi. You know, he cooking. He in the kitchen, cutting up vegetables and shit, dicing, doing what he do. He gets the phone call. He gets the phone call from Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And they're basically like, look, what you got for us? Like, your time is up. We about to plaster these pictures all over the hood and send them, you know, send the air package straight to um, Vincent if you don't let us know what's up. So he tells them about the hit on, um, y'all know who I'm talking about, the hit on, was it Salvador, Salvatini, Salvador, Sal I don't know what, y'all, it's too many names. So he's telling them about the hit, but he doesn't include Tommy. He says, he, matter of fact, he says Tommy had nothing to do with it, it was all St. Patrick. Well, while he's having this conversation, Sammy is standing behind him and he hears it. So when he gets off the phone, Sammy's like, so what the fuck was that about? Like, I thought the whole purpose of this was that we were setting Tommy up and goes. How you want, he said, not only did you not set Tommy up, you specifically cleared him. What's the deal? So he's like, Sammy, Sammy, you not, you didn't hear me right. You don't understand what's going on. Sammy's like, oh, no, no, no. I understand exactly what's going on. You done got soft. I thought you was going to go ahead and take care of Tommy, but it looks like you not. Not only are you snitching, but you ain't even doing what we said we was going to do. So at the same time, Tommy comes in the door, hears them arguing, and Tommy's like, yo, 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 what's going on here? So when Sammy turns around to tell um, Tommy, get your man, he stabs Sammy, and he he kills Sammy. He, still, he kills Sammy, so Sammy won't let, you know, so he don't get caught up in this whole mess with um, him being a snitch and all that other shit. So... He tells Tommy, help me get this cleaned up. So they get rid of Sammy's body. He's, Tommy's like, yo, what the fuck was this? He tells Tommy that Sammy was the snitch. And that that's why he had to kill him. Because he was the one snitching. Okay. So in the meantime and in between time, Angela didn't let Ghost know, look, you need to talk to Tommy because we found out who the snitch is. It's Teresi. Tommy has been talking. He was like, so she was like, what does Teresi have on us? Tommy. Ghost was like, Teresi, Teresi got it all. Like, Teresi got enough to sink all our asses. So she was like, you need to talk to Tommy. You need to talk to Tommy now. Ghost was like, Tommy ain't really in a listening mood when it comes to me these days. Like, he ain't really fucking with me like that. She said, you need to make him listen to you. Like, you need to make him fuck with you like that. So, <coughs> Ghost decides he's not... And he's, he's right. If he had gone to Tommy, Tommy wouldn't listen to a word he had to say. Pictures or no pictures. He wouldn't have cared. So he was like, who can I go to that we can make the connection so that he knows where this information is coming from and he'll believe it. So he goes to Vincent. Vincent, everybody went to go see Vincent this episode. So he goes to Vincent. And he lets Vincent know, look, basically an enemy of my enemy is my friend. He said, he said, I know Keenan told you that I had something to do with with um, shooting up your boys. That was a fucking lie. I had nothing to do with it. He said, but look, right now we need to take care of this problem. Teresa is the snitch. And I need y'all to handle it. He was like, Tommy ain't going to listen to me. So I need you to let Tommy know what's going on and, hand, and it needs to be handled. So Vincent is like, okay, so Tommy's going to have to kill his father. Like, that's what it is. That's, 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 that's how we're going to handle this problem. Um, Ghost is like, all right. I mean, you know, so he was like, and basically he was like, so what is, what's in it for me? He said, that's your connect, right? He was like, let, you know, tell Tommy that you'll do business with him again. And you'll help him move his weight if he takes care of this problem. He said, now once he takes care of the problem, I don't really give a fuck what you do. Like, keep the deal, don't keep the deal. I don't care. But this is a win-win for everybody. So Vincent's thinking about it. You see his wheels are turning. He like, mm-hmm, okay. All right. Proctor and the feds. Here goes another snitch. Proctor tells us, so the feds show up with the wire. They got the um the proffer that's basically clearing Proctor. So Proctor, um, where's the wire? He goes in there with Ghost, and he's like, he gets, he's got the tape running, and he says, so you know, Ghost, um, so Ghost is like, what brings you here, you know, what's going on? He was like, well, you know, I'm just here to kick it, you know, technically, I'm really not your lawyer anymore, because he's trying to get on tape to clear himself that he's not taping a client. 
Ghost was like, what you talking about? He said, well, you know, I was disbarred. And since I got my license back, you really haven't given me a retainer. So technically, I'm just here as a friend. Ghost was like, all right, but what's going on? You acting real nervous. Like, what's, 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 what's going on here? So Proctor was like, oh, well, you know. So how's uh, Angela doing? And he writes on a piece of paper, I'm wearing a wire. So that Ghost knows that he needs to answer these questions a certain way. Basically, he's trying to set Angela up. And he's trying to get, let Ghost know, look, go along with these questions and go ahead and implicate Angela. But Ghost wouldn't do it. He was like, Angela didn't have nothing to do. They're trying to get the whole um, murder of the, um, the, dirty, the dirty cop piece again. And Ghost was like, no, Angela didn't set me up. Like, he's clearing Angela. Because Proctor tried to ask all these questions to try to make it seem like Angela had something to do with it. So, when he realizes Ghost won't play along, he unplugs the wire. So, Ghost basically tries to kill his ass. And he's like, what the fuck is all this about? What are you doing coming up in here wearing a wire? He was like, look, if it was that deep, like, I wouldn't have told you nothing. He was like, but the heat is on. The feds are swarming. They got me in their back pocket. I did what I had to do. He said, but if I was really trying to set you up, I would have never told you I had the wire on. He said, but the person you need to go ahead and throw under the bus is Angela Valdez. He said, because the feds got a hard on for her, and they're going to keep coming till they get her. Like, it doesn't matter what you do, what I do. They are coming. He said, so you need to make a decision. You need to take care of yourself and cut bait. And, of course, Ghost was like, I'm not doing that. What are you talking about? He was like, look, I've been trying to warn you from day one about Angela. But she's going to be your downfall. He was like, so I'm telling you now, you you know, this is the tape. It is what it is. You wouldn't implicate her on the tape. But that's not going to stop them from coming. You make that decision. You figure out what you want to do. So, of course, um, he mad. You know, of course, he's mad as hell. But, you know, Proctor letting him know, look, you can be mad at me all you want. But that ain't going to stop what's about to happen to you. So then we see Tommy and Vincent. Vincent then called Tommy down. And basically Vincent lets him know, look, your father's a snitch. What you going to do about it? And of course, the first time he was getting all like, who the fuck you talking about? Where'd you get this information from? And I'm glad he didn't tell him Ghost. Because if he had said Ghost, you know Tommy wouldn't have believed him. He'd have been like, Ghost is just a hater. He they ain't got nothing to do with it. Don't listen to Ghost. But because he didn't say Ghost's name... Um, Tommy, of course, was listening to him and was like, and, t and, and Vincent told him, and Vincent was like, so you're going to kill your father, or we're going to kill you and your father. Like, basically, those are, those are your two options. Either you do it, and me and you good again, or you don't do it, and I'm just going to take care of both y'all. <sighs> so, here we go. We see Tommy with Teresi. And Tommy, you know... He's, he lets Teresi know that he knows he's the snitch. And at first, Teresi tries to, 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 um, tries to say he wasn't him. But then, you know, Tommy lets him know, look, you know. And he never comes right out and says it in so many words. But he lets him know, look, I know it's you. And you know what I got to do. So Tommy is like, I mean, Teresi is, you know, they in the car. So, of course, Teresi's like, well, where are we going? What are you getting ready to do to me? He's like, are you taking me to Vincent? He was like, no, I'm taking you to see your wife. Because Connie's in hospice now. Basically, it's only a matter of time. They're just making her comfortable. She's going to die. He was like, no, I'm taking you to see your wife. He was like, and then what? He was like, we'll finish this conversation later. But right now, go see your wife. So Teresi goes to see Connie. And he lets Connie know, you know, basically he tells her, Tommy knows what's up. So Connie's like, so what's going to happen? And he's like, I don't know. I don't know what's up. So... You see Teresi leaving, but he pretty much knows he's going to die. And Connie does, too. Connie knows Connie knows the code. She knows what's up. So when Teresi comes out, you see he, he thinks about take, making a run for it. He looks at the exit sign because Tommy's out front waiting for him. And you see him thinking about making a, a left move, a right move, whatever. But where he going to go? Like, at the end of the day, Tommy will just go to the house. Like, where you going, for real, for real? So he comes out. He gets back in the car. He says, so you're going to take me to Vincent now? He said, no, I'm taking you home, Dad. And you could see it's hurting Tommy. Like, you could really see that it's just, he contemplating the whole thing. Teresi, they go in the house. He lets Teresi get his go bag with the money and the, the gun and all that in it. And he's like, thank you, Tommy. You know, basically, he thinks Tommy's going to let him go. Like, 
he's like, I, you know, I got to get out of town. You know, Vincent will be looking for me real soon. I got to make this move. And so he's like, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. You know, he's just letting him think he about to go somewhere. And then next thing you know, Tommy pulls his gun out. Teresa was like, so you getting ready to kill me? He was like, yeah. And he kills him. Shoots him dead. And then he takes his body to his grave site. Remember the episode where he was talking about where he wanted to be buried and all of that? Well, he took him there. He didn't bury him, but he took him to, and he laid him on his grave site. The next thing you know, he goes to his mother's house. Keisha tries to call him. He don't answer the phone. He goes to see his mom. He said, Ma, you were right. She said, I tried to tell you. He lays with his mother. I think they got, they have a weird relationship. But he lays on his mother's bed. His mother puts her arms around him. And he starts crying. He said, Ma, I killed him. She said, you did the right thing, son. They crazy as shit. And Tommy's just a crying. All he wanted was a daddy. That's all he wanted. Why that man had to do that to him? All he wanted was a daddy. So, next thing you know, Angela gets called in to work. She said, what's up? We didn't, um, we didn't have a, um, a meeting scheduled for tonight. What's going on? Her boss won't tell her nothing. Walk into the room. Everybody in the room, including Detective Blanca. And they start reading Angela her rights. Talking about something she about to be charged. Because as a criminal, they, they show her the wall with her name up on the wall next to ghosts and her picture and all of that. She's like, what the hell is going on? They were like, yeah, we set you up. Like, we told you who the informant was. And we found his body tonight in less than 24 hours. She was like, well, how well did you protect your informant they were like nah don't be trying to switch this on us we know that we know it was you so all of a sudden so they were like look either you're gonna flip on saint patrick or we or it's, it's you or him what you gonna do and that's where the episode ends so next week is the season finale y'all it's gonna be some shiznits